Welcome back to The Vault. Today's video is an internal affairs interview with Sergeant Miguel Vasquez and Sergeant Justin Wall from the Professional Standards Division in relation to a previous complaint investigated by the Professional Standards Division. The interview takes place on May 18th, 2021. Sergeant Vasquez has a different story from Sergeant Mitchell concerning the involvement of attorney Michael Breen. Now a quick update regarding the Jeremy DeWitt fraud case. Jeremy DeWitt's attorney successfully argued to lower his bond amount to just $5,000 per outstanding charge. The current bail amount is $25,000 for the five charges as outlined above. Let me know what you guys think about the testimony and about the new bond. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm Sergeant Justin Wall of the Orange County Sheriff's Office Professional Standards Section. Today's date is May 18th, 2021, and the current time is 9.07 a.m. This interview is being conducted at the Office of Professional Standards located at 2500 West Colonial Drive. I am interviewing Sergeant Miguel Vasquez of the Orange County Sheriff's Office Uniform Patrol Division. Uh, Sergeant Vasquez, are you aware that I'm recording this interview? Yes, I am. Has anyone threatened, coerced, or offered you any preferential treatment to give this statement? No. Are you under the influence of drugs or alcohol that may impair your testimony? No. Raise your right hand for me. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you are to provide will be true and correct? I do. Okay. Uh, Sergeant Vasquez, one of the things that I'm um, working as part of an investigation is some allegations that were brought forward by Mr. Jeremy DeWitt. Uh, and in uh, 2019, um, he alleges that uh, an attorney that he knows came down to the professional standards section, so I'm here to ask you some questions about that. Were you an investigator in the uh, professional standards section in October 2019? Yes. Uh, did you meet with um, attorney uh, Michael Breen in late October 2019 in regards to Mr. Jeremy DeWitt? Yes, I don't remember his name, but I did uh, meet with uh, with an attorney. Okay. Uh, what was your understanding of Mr. Breen's intentions in meeting with the professional standards section? Uh, if I remember correctly, you know, such a long time ago, um, he had video or something like that to, to show us. Okay. And it pertained to uh, Sergeant Keith Vidler. Okay. Um, was he here to make like, a formal complaint to the professional standards section? I do not remember if it was a formal complaint or, hey, this is what I have for okay. you guys to see. Did he have a thumb drive containing I, video clips? I believe it was. Uh, did you watch the videos? I believe we did watch the videos. Don't I can't remember if we watched it with him here in the briefing room. Or if it was afterwards. Okay. Um, what was on the videos? Do you remember? Nah, I don't. I, I don't remember. Um, Were they all specifically to um, regarding uh, Sergeant Bidler? Yes. Do you remember? Did he tell you where the videos came from? Don't remember if he told me where it came from or not. I don't. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, did you observe any misconduct by Orange County deputies on the videos? From what I... If I'm thinking about the right video, all I remember seeing was just a, um, a car, a vehicle with no markings of Orange County Sheriff's Office. I don't know if it was a POV or unmarked vehicle. I, I can't remember. Uh, no work in here. I uh, received several complaints against uh, Sergeant Villar where we had to watch body cam footage on evidence.com. So some of those okay. are just running but together. Specifically to that day, did mm -hmm. you observe any misconduct by Orange County deputies on the videos? I can't, I, I can't remember the video. Okay. Um, did you say anything to Mr. Breen that would force him or encourage him to withdraw any of his concerns? No. Um, did Mr. Breen leave the thumb drive with PSD or did he take it with him? I don't remember if we downloaded the videos and then he left with the USB or if he left it. I can't, I can't remember. Okay. 
so what what kind of took place at the conclusion of the meeting? What what uh, you watched the videos? Um, you know, watched the videos. We spoke about whatever the video contained. Um, spoke to the attorney. Um, and he left, and that was it. Okay. Was there any follow up investigation that was conducted, or? No, not by not by us. No. Okay. Do you know why not? Or why? No. Um. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's something that um. That we were assigned to work. And I do remember calling, um, Lieutenant Wacker to let him know. Hey. Um. You know, this guy came in reference to some videos on Sergeant Keith Fiddler. Um, Did you make that phone call? Yes. Okay. And did you have any other involvement beyond that? No. Okay. Was anything uh, uh, documented to your knowledge after that? Don't remember if anything was placed into... I can't remember if IPRO was up at that time. Probably not. It was probably just the EIS. I can't remember if anything was uploaded into that okay. or if it was just a phone call to Sergeant Villers' lieutenant. Okay. So presumably if you had seen policy violations, it w you would have addressed it. You or someone in the office would have addressed it, correct? Right. And if it was something that um, PSD would have not worked, would have referred it off to uh, Sergeant Villers' Chain of command. Okay. And so, just to be clear, so to your knowledge, um, you you called Lieutenant Wacker, right? And informed him of of uh, the attorney coming in. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now I remember that phone call uh, because he wasn't too happy that we told the attorney. You know, some of the history of, what's his name? Mr. Jeremy DeWitt? Yeah, Mr. DeWitt. Okay. And, um, you know, he told me, hey, we're working an investigation on him. Um, it was like, well, um, you know, we're told. So just to be clear, Sergeant, or uh, Lieutenant Wacker told you that, that uh, there was a criminal investigation right. going against Mr. DeWitt? Right. Okay. okay. And so he was... Um, Concerned about uh, possibly divulging some information related to the criminal investigation. Not to the criminal investigation, more of Mr. Dewitt's uh, just criminal history. Okay. With the attorney. Okay. And that was because they were working a criminal investigation. Well, um, I knew after the fact that they were working a criminal investigation when I made the phone call to Lieutenant Wacker. Okay. Right. Is there anything else that you know about this investigation you'd like to add? No, sir. Okay. The current time is 9.14 a.m., and that concludes this interview.